What is going on guys, Midi here, and today we're going to be talking about the Uzi. Now, it's quite weird because they've added two new attachments for the Uzi to try and buff it basically, but it's quite weird because they've not added this into the patch notes. Uh, I literally had to look at the Uzi, I was doing it randomly looking at the uh, skins that I've got for it so far. And then I noticed these two new attachments, you get a new barrel and also a new magazine which increases the damage but slows down the fire rate. And you need to do challenges to complete this but I'm just going to go through with it really quickly with you and tell you the fastest way on how you can unlock these attachments. And also I'm going to show you my setup at the end. Now for the first challenge of the ammunition you're going to need to get three hip fire kills in five different games. So kind of like the crossbow where you'd have to get five marksman rifle kills in 25 games. This is a bit easier. So just jump into any game. If you're struggling, switch to hardcore. That's pretty much what I did for all of these challenges because in core, I'm not really a fan of using the Uzi. Um, hardcore is pretty good and it's obviously easier to kill people. So go into the sort of shipment, uh, kill house rotation maps and do your challenges there because it's the fastest way you're going to do it if it's TDM or kill confirmed. And also a side note, don't quit out of the games as soon as you get the kills because it's like the crossbow and it's not going to count because I know these challenges are quite buggy. So get your free kills, let the game end and then jump into another game and do it like that. If you haven't obviously unlocked anything for the uh, gun itself, like the attachments, the easiest thing I'd say is pop one of your double XP tokens, jump into a shipment uh, game mode or kill house and just run around shooting people. It's a lot easier to level the gun up. It only took me about sort of six, seven, eight games to start getting a lot of the attachments that I didn't have for it. Now moving on to the barrel challenge, you actually need to get two long shot kills. Um, long shots aren't really far away with an SMG because obviously it's a lot harder. So it's going to say that you're going to need the wood stock on it and you're also going to need any kind of barrel and also the new ammunition that you just unlocked. Otherwise the challenge won't actually count so make sure you've got these attachments on. Weirdly enough for me it was kind of glitched because I was checking when I got my two kills and it never counted. I'm pretty sure this is bugged but it was three long shot kills I had to get. Doesn't matter if you die just get the three long shot kills and it should tick off one of the challenges but you can always go on your creator class and double check to see if it's actually counted or not. If you're struggling with the kills then you can always jump into rust go to this corner side of the map and basically just camp there or you can go onto kill house and put a thermal sight onto this weapon and then throw a smoke grenade and get a kill like that so no one can see you in the middle that's another way you can get it either do this or just camp this is the easiest way i did this but if you get any trouble with it just let me know in the comments or if you find it a bit buggy because i know it is and i'll try and give you advice if i can once you've done that you're going to unlock both of these attachments which is pretty much making the range a lot better on this gun and making it a lot more powerful with the rounds it's going to slow the rate down and increase the recoil but this is basically the setup that I'm using right now for it. So obviously starting off, you're going to have the new barrel on it. We're going to put a tactical foregrip on it. And we're also going to put the new rounds on it too. But you can, you don't have to have the tactical foregrip on it. You can switch it to something else if you prefer or even take it off altogether. But it still has a lot of recoil. Now you've put the new ammunition on it. For the grip, you're going to put the strippled grip tape on. It's going to have faster aim down sight speed, which we need. For the sight, we're going to put the Corp Combat Hollow Sight on. Now this is completely your preference. I wouldn't suggest using this without a sight. This has probably got the worst iron sight in the game, from my personal opinion. So using this hollow sight is good. You can switch it up if you want, but I don't like using any free time scopes on a sort of sub like this. So either get the hollow sight or another sight that you prefer. But overall, this SMG is a lot better now. I mean, compared to what it was on core, and now with these new attachments, it's got really good range on it. You can pick people off quite easy. And I was able to get myself quite a few double kills and triple kills with this gun. I definitely think this has a place in sort of domination and headquarters and smaller 6v6 kind of modes. I do like using this in ground war though. I do think it is a good gun and I'm going to continue to use it and try and mess about it with the attachments a bit more. Definitely unlock the attachments for it. If you're a fan of the Uzi, like a lot of people are, but just wanted that buff with it, definitely try this gun out. And as always guys, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe to me. I bring out daily COD content and anything that's new like this, which got released, but didn't actually get released into the patch notes. But as always guys, goodbye.